So I want to give you an overview of first steps of Solid Genius, how to make, just um, navigate to the Solid Genius directory called the start SG LSP. Make sure you set the LSP uh, as file extension and this will load the Solid Genius uh, software. Once the software is loaded, uh, you will see it in the under the modules section of modeling. Just go to the modules and locate the Solid Genius and start Solid Genius. Solid Genius automatically starts uh, Space Library and whole chart as well. They are uh, already integrated inside Solid Genius. You will see here some additional icons and select the Solid Genius icon and hit the run command. This run command uh, will show you the, the built-in uh, standard parts library menu. This menu can be, you know, has you know, uh, it can be also edited and adapted to customer needs. So here I have uh, one uh, sample design. And I would like to show you different possibilities to add screws, nuts, and washers. You know, um, you, you may have already holes. And if you have already holes on the part, just uh, when the solution is asking for the point, don't give the empty center point just select the circular edge when you select the circular edge so genius automatically uh, calculates the necessary screw diameter as you saw it took automatically the next fitting diameter for this uh, you know uh, uh, diameter so you, on, you only have to set the length and say next again i will make another example and diameter is uh, rather large but i i will just go and select the circular edge not the middle point, but circular edge. You know, and then once I click the edge, automatically calculates the necessary uh, screw diameter. All right, say next. I can change the length as well. And if I say next, the screw will be you know, generated. And the third example, the same way, I select the circular edge and screw comes with the correct diameter inside. So this is the uh, way how to work when you have already holes and as you see, all the edges are oriented in the same way. So you get, for a 2D drawing, a, a correct uh, view of the screws. All right, the next thing is, if I don't have any holes at all, I, have, uh, I can go to the uh, you know, screw connections uh, menu. <coughs> and then uh, I just select the uh, screw connections and set, if I wish, the washers, uh, nuts, uh, you know, and uh, washers, but in this case I will not select it because it doesn't fit to our example. So I will just select what I want. I can set here the necessary uh, length of the screw, how much it will look out uh, from the second part, and simply select into full material, upper part and lower part, and select the diameter and give the uh, point. If I give the point, if I don't have any orientation, I can simply use the work plane uh, construction lines functions which are built in into the menu so I can just you know quickly make necessary reference lines what, what I need to position the screw so I don't have to go out and prepare the work, work plane before I can do it just inside you know and uh, when I leave the dialog this work plane will be deleted automatically so I give the point and if I say next Solid Genius automatically creates the necessary holes into plates. So this was the second case where I don't have any holes at all. Okay, and here uh, I will just uh, hide uh, the screws uh, to show you uh, that. Okay, see there are all holes, and the last one as well has the holes. Okay. All right. So it means that if you have holes, you select the edge. If you don't have the holes, one way is you go. Okay, I cut. Uh, you know, to, to with a clipping plane to show you that there are holes inside. You can cut. Uh, there is a function clipping, and you can clip to see if the result is okay. All right, I say okay. And the third possibility is, uh, I don't have holes, and I don't want to use screw connections. And now I can place uh, the screw into the full material, and later ask the screw to create its own hole. This is what we call actions. Every screw of Solid Genius has five actions attached to it. It can create a simple hole, it can create a, a blind hole, it can create a threaded hole, 
it can create a blind trade at all okay so I uh, if you want to select you know I can s use the uh, measurement function to select the length okay as you saw I took the measurement of these two points and I selected the next uh, you know a bigger length okay now here my screw goes through the full material there is no holes I didn't create any holes automatically but later on I can use this actions function okay you see there is no holes everything goes through the full material but later on like I say I can go to the menu and use this actions function and just use any actions which is uh, on the screw uh, to create the holes actions select the screw and as I told every screw has uh, actions attached to it and in this case I will take a simple hold on this part and apply the simple hold I don't want to move the screw okay simple hold is created okay on the other um, plate as well I select the screw select simple hold again and apply on this other part now say apply don't want to move okay here as you see from the labels that uh, solid use automatically created necessary holes like I said every screw uh, of solid genius have uh, has their you know attached uh, action information which I can use anytime on on any part all right so uh, this is uh, you know the screws now we continue and we want to add uh, nuts and washers you know I just go to the nuts menu and select any nut here uh, it goes almost automatic you don't have to deal selecting the necessary diameter and just say simply for the screw and select the screw and if necessary you can define a mating uh, plane as well I said mate to this plane and now the screw will be positioned automatically on the screw to this plane again the screw mate to this plane next if you happen to forget you know to give the mating plane no and it's not a catastrophe you can just say all right I want to I would just on purpose not give the mating plate screw is positioned there but now I can say mate okay it means that mating plane you can give uh, in advance or after screw is positioned here mating plane I don't give and later on mate will face all right so that's so easy and now uh, let's uh, add some washers and nuts and when uh, we add some washers and nuts to the screw Solid Genius automatically moves nuts and, and uh, bolts you know in uh, to make place for the washer so I simply go there again select the uh, screw head and say next washer is positioned screw is moved watch out washer is positioned and not to be moved so nuts and screws are automatically moved to make place for the washers okay this uh, what we are doing at the moment is when we do manually uh, nuts and you know washers uh, through screws if you want to have a create if you want to create an automatic connection please watch the video screw connections because we can put washer nut hole everything together in one shot as well but this is just the first steps video to show you uh, how to create individual nuts and screws and you know bolts okay all right here we go as you see there are now um, what if if you want to change the length you just go to edit select the screw and the screw uh, will pop up with parameters select the new length all right and say okay and the screw length will change it means that uh, later on uh, once you have put the screw you can always go back and edit you know its parameters here we go I want to modify the length let's make it a little bit shorter as well okay so it's very easy as you see uh, again uh, just to you know remember uh, there can be holes already on the parts or no holes it doesn't matter if there are holes you just put the screw if there is no hole you can decide you know to make it automatically thank you